This is a demonstration to show how easy it is to take a simple touchscreen POS device from 2016 and bring it over to Android 14. So this is base OS all in one. So this version comes with a tablet UI option, a desktop UI option, or you can install your own third-party launcher on top of it. The installer is pretty straightforward. It starts off bringing you to a Linux GUI using Calamari's installer. Select your disk. Select your boot options, so we'll do Bluetooth Linux and old x86 primary and then we will make sure we have some video options set by default as well. Click next, install, install now, and the process goes through, it takes just a few minutes. What this is doing is it is erasing the entire disk uh, and installing Android on top of it. This version of Android will come with support for a recovery image and it'll also come with uh, Micro-G and free and open source uh, NeoStore which uses F-Droid backend for app stores. So you will have access to Google's database of apps using Micro-G and Aurora Store. And you will also have access to hundreds of open source app repos through NeoStore and F-Droid. This build also comes with multiple features like integrated SSHD so you can remote SSH into the device from across the web. It also comes with an app to allow GUI customization of that to enable start um, or stop the service by default as well as change the port for it. It also comes with uh, Droid VNC NG, um, which is a VNC solution for Android integrated into the system. So all you have to do is enable that, assign a port, a password, and you have secure remote access to the OS uh, from across the web. Um, lots of Build options are available in this Pro version. You can also set your own boot animation um, using ADB or pushing the boot animation to the device using SSHD. And I think that's enough for right now. I don't want to spoil too much. So we will unplug our USB now. And it looks like we get a boot menu, so just some of the boot options we have here. We have tablet UI, uh, hybrid desktop UI, uh, which will run all windows in either full screen by default or if you launch it with the desktop launcher, Freeform. And then desktop UI will launch all windows on Freeform, especially if you have a connected secondary display. So for this, we're just going to select tablet UI. And this is a single display unit, so we're going to select that top one as well. First boot takes a little bit, but consecutive boots afterwards are pretty instantaneous.
And like I mentioned earlier, there is a option in this all-in-one Android 14 build to uh, upload your own boot animation uh, to the device and it'll automatically pick up on that as well as uh, display configurations and input configurations on top of that. So there are a number of after uh, install customizations that can be deployed to this version of Android that allow uh, mass deployment uh, to be very, very easy now. Just give it a moment and we should see the boot animation. These older devices do take a bit to create that data setup. So that's why this first boot takes a while. And we have the desktop. So we have touch screen. You can unlock, obviously, because it's a POS device. And we also have mouse, so you can use the mouse and keyboard on these. Give it a moment for the startup to complete, and we should be uh, entering our tablet-based UI immediately and I think we're good so these do come with a uh, emergency mode banner on them by default so each build uh, does have, have to be licensed but license is pretty straightforward uh, based on serial number so if you come to settings down here to device status you will see your serial number for that device there and that is it that is easy deployment of android on ancient windows pos devices in under 10 minutes